Hi guys, welcome to the Catway. So in this video, we are going to solve a daily set. And before we begin, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. So the question that we have is that the that the following data pertains to the profile of hundred students who have appeared for the selection process of a B school, ISW College in the year two thousand nine. Each student has written exactly one of the two tests, LAT or BAT. So every student will write either LAT or BAT. and every one of them has at least one of the two features good academic record or extracurricular activities okay so now what will be happening is that see person is writing lat now he can have a good academic record or he can have a extracurricular activity or he can have a both and same goes for bat second is no student who has written lat has both gar and eg so now it makes it clear that a person who is writing lat can either have a good academic record or he can have a extracurricular activity but not both but for a person who has written bat he can have only uh, good academic record or only extracurricular activity or both of them together now 60% of the students have who have appeared for selection process have written lat so 60 people wrote lat and 40 people wrote bat of which 40% have work experience so there comes one more criteria of work experience okay now initially every student will fall only into two categories that no work ex either they will be having no work ex or they will be having work ex okay and they will be writing either lat or they will be writing either bat now every student either writing lat with no work ex or lat with work ex or bat with no work ex and bat with work ex all of them will be divided into two more categories that is having gar or ec or both of them Okay, so here comes the our Venn diagram into the picture. Here comes our Venn diagram into the picture. Okay, so this is what we have. Okay, this is what we have. Let us divide the table now. Okay, so we have GAR and ECA, GAR and ECA, GAR. AR and EC. So this is what we have. Okay, one thing that has been given is that the person having LAT cannot have both of them. He will only have only one of them, either between GR and EC. Okay. Now it says third point says that sixty percent of the students who have appeared for selection process have written LAT. So that means out of hundred sixty people have written LAT, and the remaining forty people have written BAT. Then it says. that the person who have written lat that is 60 people 40% have work experience so 40% of them have work experience that means there are 24 people with lat and work experience that means the remaining 36 people of lat do not have work experience okay fourth point says that 50% of the students who appeared for selection process have work experience so people with a work experience are in total 50 and that means people with no work experience are also 50 okay now people with no work experience from those 50 people 36 wrote lat that means the remaining 20 uh, sorry remaining 14 people will be writing bat and similarly out of the 50 people with work ex 24 have written lat so the remaining 26 will be writing bat okay so this is there okay now the people who appeared for work experience out of them 30 per 30 people have ga Okay, there are thirty people who have GR. Okay, now what is there? Number of students who have written BAT and also have both work experience and GR is twenty. So people who wrote BAT, okay, so that means this column we are talking about, who have work ex, okay, who have both work ex and GR. So they are having people. They are from BAT. Okay, they have a work work ex and a GR. the total number is 20 so that means combination of this two is 20 because these are the people who have work ex who have bat and have also have a gr so let's say this part is x so this part will be 20 minus x this part is x and this part will be 20 minus x okay so this is there now moving ahead number of students who have lat and also have a gr is 25 people who have written lat and also have a gr is 25 okay that means the summation of this and this has been given to you as 22 okay now the number of students who have eca but no work ex is 
ECA but no work exists 30 years. Okay, so this information has been given. Now we have to, we, let's make some equations and try to solve the question. So initially beginning with the fourth point that 50% of the student who appeared for selection process have work -its. Okay, they have work -its. And 30 students of them have GAR. Okay, so 30 students out of them have GAR. Okay, so also now one thing that you know is that who have written BAT and have GAR is 20. That means this total is 20. GAR with work X, people with work X can have GAR from here and from here. Now this has been given as 20. The summation of this and these two has been given to us as 30. So now because this part is 20, so the remaining this part will be only be 10. This part will be 10. Okay. Similarly, number of people who have written LAT and GR is 25. So LAT and GR is this and this portion is 25. Now this portion is 10. So the remaining portion that is this one will be, uh, this one will, this portion will be 50. So this portion will now be 50. Now, because this portion is 15 guys, the total of this, both of them is 36. Now one portion is 15. So the other portion will be 20. And similarly over here, total portion is 24 out of that 10 is over here. So remaining 14 will be over here. The remaining 14 will be over there. Okay. Now let us move ahead to the next point that, that, that has been given. Okay. So number of students who have ECA, but no work. So who have ECA, but no work X is 35. Okay. ECA, but no work X is 35. So that means we are talking about this part, this part, and this part. The total sum of ECA with no work X is 35. Out of that 21 is gone over here. Okay. So 21 is gone over there. So this total part is 14. Now let's say this part is Y. So this part will be 14 minus. Y. Okay. Also this combined part was 14. Okay, this combined part was 14. Out of that, this only is equal to 14, this part. So this part will automatically be zero. This part will automatically be zero. Similarly, complete total of this was 26. This much has been given as equal to 20. So this part will be equal to six. Now we have all the values set for this. Now we can move towards the questions. <coughs> So first question is that out of all the students who appeared for selection process, how many have written BAT, have work experience, that is this column we are talking about, and GAR, and GAR but no easy. That means it is only asking about 20 minus X one. Now no information has been given about the value of X. So the answer is cannot be determined because the value of X is unknown. So the correct answer for first question is option number D. Second question says, out of all the students who have appeared for selection process of ISW college, what is the maximum possible number of students who have GAR? Okay, so it is asking about maximum possible number of students who have GAR and who have also written BAT, but no work X. Okay, written GAR, maximum possible who have GAR and who have also written BAT, but have no work experience. Okay, but have no work experience. So here, what we are talking about is no work experience. Okay. No work experience. That is this column bad. That means this column we are talking about and maximum possible number of students who have GAR. I don't think it should be GAR. It should be ECA, I believe. Okay. Because GAR is zero. We know. So it should be ECA. So ECA it is talking about. So the maximum number of people who have ECA you know it is equal to 14. So the correct answer for this question is option number C, 14. Okay. Come to the third one. Out of the all the students who have appeared for selection process, what is the total number of students who have written LAT and have EC? So ECA is with 21 here and 14 here. That is the people with LAT and ECA is 14. So the uh, so is, sorry, 35. So the correct answer for this is option number B, 30. So I hope with this, the set is clear. This was a very good set on Venn diagram and hope you have understood the set well, guys. And anytime further, if you receive such a, such a complex set, wherein there are two, two different, different uh, criterias between which the people are divided and the criterias have again, two things in common. So you'll be able to recognize at what type of set is this and how do I have to solve this? The process would be clear to you. I hope you have understood that. Thanks for watching the video.